YouTube, we're on a full hype alert. This is G3 Iron right here. We just got the announcement that there will be an incursion flashback event. We've got all of the details for it right here, and so we're going to break it down for you if you were too lazy to read the patch notes yourself. So, here we go. Here's the announcement. We're happy to announce that we'll be running a competitive flashback event from 9 a.m. Saturday, August 4th, New Zealand time, until 10 a.m. Tuesday, August 28th. It will run in parallel with the Incursion Challenge League, which will also be enabled on the event so that you can continue your challenge progression. The event will include rotating mods from 11 popular past Path of Exile leagues. There are microtransactions, mystery boxes, demigods, dominances, and bragging rights up for grabs. Here are some of the event details. The flashback event will have three random mods from popular past leagues activated simultaneously all at once. The collection of mods will persist in that area for one hour, and the collection of mods will vary from area to area. After an hour has passed, the mods will randomize for each area again. Each area will also always have the Incursion League enabled, which means that you can continue to finish your challenges while you compete in the flashback event. The possible League mods that you could see in an instance alongside Incursion are Anarchy, Invasion, Breach, Ambush, Torment, Parandus, Beyond, Nemesis, that means Headhunter Farmers, hello, hello, Bloodlines, Abyss, and Harbinger. As an example, the Dried Lake could have Incursion, Breach, Beyond, and Harbinger active for one hour and will then randomize to another assortment like Incursion, Ambush, Parandus, and Invasion. And then again to Incursion, Ambush, Beyond, and Torment, and so on. You will be able to get the following quantities of these mods in any area where they are present. Two times additional Rogue Exiles, two times additional Invasion Bosses, one time additional Breach, two time additional Strong Boxes, three time additional Tormented Spirits, two-time additional Perendus Chests, and a 33% chance to spawn Kadairo. Beyond, three times chance additional rare monster packs with Nemesis mods, three times chance magic monster packs with Bloodlines, one additional Abyss, and two times additional Harbingers. This event is not voided, which means your items and characters will be migrated to their parent leagues at the end of the event. Awesome! That means everything goes to standard, so if you want to farm stuff for standard, you can. Event variations. We'll be running standard, hardcore, standard solo cell found, and hardcore solo cell found versions of the flashback event on both PC and Xbox One. Each version of the event will have their own demigods dominance rewards for ranking highly on the ladders. Outside of the demigods, the prize pool will be shared among all versions of the event. More in-depth information in the prizes section of the post below. So, let's check out the prizes. If you reach level 35 in a flashback event, you will be instantly re rewarded with an Apocalypse Mystery Box. This is only possible once per account. Leveling multiple characters to level 35 will not grant additional Mystery Boxes. On the PC versions of the event, we will be awarding an alternate art Demigod's Dominance to the top three players of each Ascendancy class. Ranks 4 through 10 will receive a regular Demigod's Dominance. Each version of the event Standard Hardcore, Standard Solo Self Found, Hardcore Solo Self Found will have their own Demigod's Dominance prize pool based on their ladders. The Xbox One users will also be getting their own Demigod's Dominance for each of their versions of the event. The only difference is that we will have a smaller community on Xbox One and giving out 10 Demigod's Dominances per event version is likely to be too many. The top two of each Ascendancy class will receive an alternate art, Demigod's Dominance, and ranks 3 through 5 will receive a regular Demigod's Dominance. Leveling your characters to specific thresholds can also put them in the draw to win microtransactions. The prizes and level rank required to be eligible for the random draw are listed below. For example, if you reach level 85 with one character, you would be in the draw to win any of the prizes from the level 45 to 85 range. If you level two characters to level 85, you would increase your chances of winning a prize from this range. You can win more than one prize per account. So, let's take a look. What are those thresholds? If you reach level 35, you get an Apocalypse Mystery Box, one per account. If you reach level 45, you're entered into a random drawing. There will be 500 Arctic Footprints, 500 Ebony Footprints, 500 Ghost Flame Footprints, and 500 Purple Footprints all given away. If you reach level 55, a random drawing of 500 Purple Skull Helmets, 500 Bleach Skull Helmets, 500 Snake Skulls, 500 Thorn Skulls, and 500 Rose Skulls will be given away. If you reach level 65, there will be a random drawing of 250 Malachi Portals, 
250 fire portals, 250 arctic portals, and 250 kraken portals. If you reach level 75, there will be a random drawing of 250 hooded cloaks, 250 bone wings, and 250 reptilian wings. At level 85, you'll be entered into a random drawing for 250 hydra wings, 250 vampiric wings, 250 infernal wings. At level 95, so if you know life this league, holy cow, 250 polar armor packs, 250 warlock armor packs, or 250 stormcaller armor packs will be given away. All right, so some frequently asked questions. They're already answering uh, questions below. So there will be more uh, questions and answers here as they pop up, but here are the first couple that they're already going to say. Can I respect my Ascendancy class? No, Ascendancy class respects will be disabled. So if you pick a class, you're going to play that class out because you won't be able to respect it. If I delete my character, will I still get a prize? No, please do not delete your characters until after the prizes have been awarded. Will I still be eligible for prizes if my character dies? Yes, you will be. If I level multiple characters, will I have a greater chance of winning a prize? Yes, every character you level will be independently in the pool for the prize draw at the end of the event. This excludes mystery boxes where you will only be able to receive one per account. Will the event be voided? No, at the end of the event, your characters and items will be migrated to their parent league. For example, if you're playing the standard flashback event, your characters and items will migrate to the standard league at the end of the event. When will I receive a prize? We will be awarding mystery boxes automatically when you reach level 35 in the event. The other microtransactions and demigods dominances will be awarded at the end of the event. You'll receive a PM on the website to notify you when this has happened. Note that outside of the mystery boxes and demigods dominances, that prizes are drawn randomly and are not necessarily guaranteed. We'll post on our Twitter to confirm when the final prizes have gone out. Will League Unique items drop in instances with those leagues active? No, it's not possible to get past League Unique items from drops. So you won't be able to farm a Headhunters, but you'll be able to chance one. Can you migrate from standard solo cell phone flashback to standard flashback? Yes, this is possible. The same applies to hardcore solo solo cell found flashback to hardcore flashback best of luck to everyone who's participating if you're unable to play be sure to check out all the action on twitch from nadia at ggg well there you go folks we've got all of the event info at least so far for the incursion flashback event are you hype what are you going to be playing already let the theory crafting begin what's going to be meta what's going to be amazing are you going to play triple herald elementalist and just be a filthy meta slave to incursion league will you try something different will you race for this or will you just go for a particular level threshold and hope that uh, you randomly get picked as a winner what are you going to do with this leave us a comment down below let us know are you hype for incursion flashback i am this is going to be awesome